Why is anonymous reporting dangerous? The danger of anonymous reporting of suspected child abuse and neglect in DCF in Massachusetts is that in some cases it can be used as a sword rather than a shield. What do I mean by that? Anonymous reporting is supposed to protect the person so they don't have to disclose who they are. But with that comes the great theory that we protect children. But on the other hand, do we? What it does also, it breeds all types of bad faith claims. We want to protect children. So they report to DCF and they stay anonymous without giving any information because the law of Massachusetts allows them to do such. On the other hand, some cases it breeds bad faith. People know they can report anonymously. They file bad faith child abuse and child neglect allegations with DCF in Massachusetts trying to gain leverage in, let's say, a divorce case for visitation or a better settlement of the assets when the divorce is concluded by asserting the other spouse has abused and neglected the child. It also occurs, let's say, in a situation where you retaliate, you have a jealous ex-lover and you've got a new girlfriend or you've got a new boyfriend and it goes and cuts both ways. Somebody gets a new partner the person who's left out of the mix goes and files with DCF out of retaliation. So this anonymous reporting, sound in theory, in reality sometimes is not so sound. The idea of the legislature to allow anonymous reporters to report is a good one. But in times, in different times, it's used as a sword, not a shield. It's used as a, a weapon to try and hurt someone. And then you've got no recourse, is anonymous. And DCF's left in the middle. You got one person on one hand who's been harmed, who has not harmed any children, but is harmed by the allegations. On the other side, you got some person who hurled these false allegations and they've hurt somebody. But because it's anonymous, how do you find out who it is? DCF doesn't know. But yet when they get the reports, they screen it in, they have the affirmative obligation and duty to go investigate. 